Coming up, it's a new rallying cry from an author. All right, her book lays out seven deadly sins that are sabotaging women's success. Allison Morris here with more on those big mistakes and some simple solutions. Allison. Hello. Yeah, Amy Cohen is awesome. I wish you guys all could have met her in person. She has such great energy and excellent advice for women. You know, she's a career counselor. She says she has worked with women of all ages and all different experiences, but most of them, Amy says, are making the same work-related mistakes. So she says it's time to pull on those big girl panties and own it at the office. Wow. Woman Up. That's the title of Amy Cohen's new book, A Guide to Help Women Have Greater Success in the Workplace. We were sabotaging ourselves in so many ways, and the reality is, is that there's a lot in the workplace that we can't control, so why not take better control of ourselves and our careers? Cohen says we're committing seven deadly sins that are holding us back. We have got the kindness conundrum, the competency curse, affirmation addiction, perfectionism prison, divulgence disease, the, the miscommunication mayhem, and the undervalue epidemic. And she has plenty of simple tips to help women get over those issues and get ahead at work. For starters, stop apologizing. We apologize to the point where it totally undermines our authority. And so apologize when it's apology worthy, when you've actually done something wrong. Stop saying yes so easily. At least sleep on it for 24 hours. I'm not exactly sure, let me check my schedule and get back to you. Don't tell your coworkers or your bosses everything. We have to have that filter on because just because it comes into the mind doesn't mean it has to come out the mouth. Work on your communication skills. Direct eye contact instead of looking at the floor, looking at shoes, looking at your jewelry, looking distracted. Stop selling yourself short. We downplay, we dismiss, and we diminish our accomplishments. And learn how to negotiate for what you're worth. I send my clients to yard sales, flea market. I mean, why not start negotiating for something where there's very low risk? And above all, find a mentor. Mm -hmm. It's statistically proven that women Women that have mentors, formal or informal mentors, are more successful, make more money, make better career decisions. And the statistics on mentors are amazing. According to Amy, women with mentors over earn over $20,000 more than women who go it alone. Some other advice she has, work on your handshake, no one likes a cold fish. And try just saying thank you instead of diminishing yourself or making excuses. When someone pays you a compliment, she says these are really small things, but we women tend to do it and not realize we're doing yeah. it, and it makes a big difference. No, that's good. That's good advice for anybody. It is those things that stick with you, the handshake, not being able to take a compliment. That, that's real Looking solid advice, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you.